Yo. What up? I'm just kidding. Uh, hello, and welcome. Thank you for your interest in the Jeffrey Hart Disposables, the Songstarter Edition. This is the first in the, uh, hopefully, many packs uh, of disposables. They're going to be totally awesome. Uh, so, first, I want to cover how to install these, and then we'll talk about how to use them. So, let's go to, um, once you download it, you get yourself a zip file. Unzip that, you get yourself an ALP. I double click that, it'll ask you where you want to install the project. Just choose wherever. Once you choose that, you're going to open that up and uh, you're going to double click the ALS. That's going to open up this massive file that uh, contains all of the presets. And I mean, the presets themselves are not that big, but it is three instruments, you know, per preset. Uh, so this set kind of takes a little bit to load, yeah, kind of, but uh, no big deal. Okay, so once you get that preset, I'm sorry, once you get that file open, you're going to go to File, then Manage Files, then hit Manage Project. It's going to scan all the files within that project, and right now it's scanning through all those MIDI racks. I know it. Yeah, but uh, once it scans through those, we're going to export all of the files that the simplers use uh, into your library. And you don't need the suite to make this work at all. This is all just um, regular effects, simplers, and, and effects like that. Okay, so we'll go to the bottom here and hit export. And it's going to export. Um, it says right now it's exporting these presets, but I feel like it's a lie because I cannot find where Live puts those in the library anywhere. So whatever. But um, it does move all your audio files over. So that's great. That's what we need. Um, then you're going to go to one of your browsers and make sure you're at current project. And then just grab the uh, folder that says Jeffrey R. Racks drag it in and on top of the instrument racks and it's going to install those and you can find those in your library under the instrument racks folder. Now while those are uh, crawling along in their installation, uh, sorry I'm just annoyed at how long everything takes in 2012, it's like come on, Thunderbolt, let's do this. Anyway, let's talk about what these racks are. Um, these are little song starters okay and there's a family you know there's five in each family so for lost at all there's five different ones and they share the same waveform and they share the same effects but all the mappings uh, are different and so as you turn a specific knob uh, I've changed the values for the mappings and so it's like it gives you a lot of different types of sounds but it still kind of remains within that family so you could build a song out of all five. So you can start a new song with any one and build it out with the rest of them. And so you can do that four times because, uh, four? Yeah, four times. Because there's like four different families of presets for these song starters. Cool. And the whole disposable idea is just that, um, you know, every time I buy something new, I usually make at least one song. But then I feel bad because I paid 20 bucks for it or I paid $60 for it. And I don't use it enough. So the idea behind these disposables is like, even if you only use it once, you know, it's enough to get that inspiration to, you know, start on a new project or do something different or whatever. It's just fun to do new stuff, in my opinion. All right, so let's take a closer look at what these, uh, what the racks are doing and what the macros mean. First one here. Well, they're color coded, so you can see these are, are you know are together. These are together. These are together. And so we have our high, medium, and low racks. And so lost. Can I make that? A, oh man, I totally should have made those a color. Oh my lord, noob sauce. Anyway, so for this macro, changes the sound of the high. This one changes the sound of the mid, and so we've got all these crazy mappings going on for each one and uh, actually that's not, that's not the good one get out of here this one here 
here. So it's like a lot of mappings, a lot of different values. And so for each rack, those mappings are different. So when you turn this, it does different things with the same effects to the same waveform. And so on for each instrument. Now this bottom row controls the MIDI racks. And the MIDI racks are custom built by yours truly, and it took me forever. Uh, but I love them. And you can turn different patterns, which changes the notes. You can invert the chords of the progression, and you can make the bass kind of play bass lines and arpeggio the lead. We'll see how those work in just a second. So, um, because my software's breaking, I'm just going to roll this here. And this is the first one. I'm just going to loop that. Let's change the sound of the lead. Now let's invert it. Make the bass line. Different types of bass lines. Oh yeah. And a whole new uh, melody. Also, I should have mentioned that um, this, you know, it only, you play a very simple line, you play, um, you play the lower, just with two fingers, um, you know, you play something in the bass and something in the high, and, and it takes these lower notes and creates all the chords and the bass line, it takes the higher notes and creates the melody, uh, so it's really fast and easy, and I believe the split is at C4, I think that's the first of the new melody. Um, so yeah, you can just jump on your keyboard and whip something out really quick. Or if you're using your computer keyboard, what I usually do is I, you know, make the chords first and then I hit the X, which is an octave up on the computer keyboard, and then I lay down the sweet uh, melody line. Yeah. All right. So um, we're going to listen to that while changing some of the values. Um, so now let's just, um, that's pretty much it. Let's just take a listen to the rest of the racks and I'll change some values kind of as we go and you can hear what's going on. This is the same chord progression, same melody, same everything, but the mini rack changes it up. Alright, here's a new one.
yeah that's pretty much it it's pretty sick it's pretty dope um I hope you guys check these out and you write some mad songs with it and that you love being alive making music with Ableton Live. Alright, that's all I got. JeffreyHart.com.